What's going on guys, ZTA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to be testing out 10 PC games on the AMD Athlon 200GE. Now this is a $55 APU from AMD. I think this is an awesome little budget chip. It's $55, you get two cores, four threads at 3.2 gigahertz. Now that's the base clock, but if you have a newer BIOS update from let's say MSI or Gigabyte, you can go to 3.9. And since this is an APU, we do have graphics built in. The Radeon Vega 3 at 1000 megahertz. You can put together a whole PC based on this for $280. That includes the RAM, the CPU, the case, the motherboard, and even a one terabyte hard drive. I'm gonna leave links in the description. I recently posted a video showing off the emulation capabilities of the 200GE, so if you're interested in checking that out, make sure you check the link in the description. But like I mentioned, this video is focused on PC games. I'm gonna test 10 of them. We have Doom, Overwatch, Dirt 3, CSGO, Left 4 Dead 2, Dead Cells, Rocket League, Skyrim Special Edition, Fortnite, and Grand Theft Auto 5. Since this is a budget chip, 1080p in some of these games just isn't going to be possible at a decent frame rate, so most of these will be running in 720p. Settings will be listed for each game in the lower left hand corner. I also have Afterburner running to display the frame rate and the average frame rate in the upper left hand corner. My build specs are on screen now and listed in the description. With all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. Attack on objective B. Schaden verstärkt. Bridge. Medium left. 
I'm reloading. I'm reloading. Reloading. Grab an incendiary ammo.
So far I've been really impressed with this little APU. At 55 bucks it's really hard to beat unless you go used parts and you can always build something that's going to be more powerful than this for around the same price if you use used parts but a lot of people want new stuff and I completely understand that. This is a great entry level CPU. You can always add a video card as long as your motherboard and case support it. As you see here this is a very small form factor case because when I build these APU systems I like to go super small. But if you've been looking to build your first PC and you're on a really tight budget but you want to use new parts, I think the 200GE is a great option. Really appreciate you guys watching. I will have another video coming up on the 200GE. I want to do some overclocking and see what kind of performance gains we can get in PC gaming and emulation. So stay tuned to the channel. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.